We gon' have fun. We be on fire. We be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big, big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not, not even I'm there. Well, go on. But one thing I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. This is what I need for you to do. Go ahead and go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Not even just subscribe. Join our membership. And go to Patreon and join our membership because that's the only place you're going to find our full-length interviews after a while. We're going to give you clips on YouTube, but that's about it now. You... Memberships is the only place you're going to find our full-length interviews. But don't forget about our TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it. We on it, all right? Support us. Man, y'all heard what she said, man. She ain't playing no games, man. We got a special guest in here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction. <laughs> this guy right here, man, y'all been seeing it, man. I never seen so many rappers go one place at one time. You know, I get it in a little bit. But this cat right here, man, I've been seeing him do his thing, man. I... A jewel and dropped in my lap, man. Famous Animal TV is in the building. Let's go, <laughs> man. How you doing, man? man I'm blessed, man. Thank I know you. it. I see it all over you, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Real talk, man. <laughs> man. I, I mean, man, we gonna get all the way into your story, man, because our people want to know who you are, man. A lot of people have seen your grind, man. And it's time to, you know, we got to show homage, man, to my boy, man. Famous Animal TV. What's up, baby? Real talk. Let's nah, go. Nah. Let's okay, go. you know, okay, everybody love the music, everybody love all of that, but I love to get to know people as the person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you have all these celebrities and all of that. I don't care about all of that. I want to know about you growing up, what you had to go through, all of that. So where are you from? I'm from, I was born in California. Oh. What? Yeah, I've been saying Memphis, nigga, you know I'm <laughs> Oh. I was born in California, San Diego, California. Really? Ooh, I yeah. love San Diego. We love San Diego, boy. Yeah. We be up there. Let me tell you. Their beaches are so beautiful. LA have nothing on San Diego. Yeah. See, I ain't get the experience. Cause you I gotta left, go back. I left when I was like two. You gotta go back. You yeah. grown now. Why yeah. you ain't been back? Man. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm sure you have family. I'm you have go. family out there? Nah, uh uh-uh. None. I have family from Memphis or like Jersey. So, so then like, how did you end up being born out there? My daddy, he was like in the military. Yeah, that naval base, that naval, naval base yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So he was able to, uh, when he came home from the military, he was able to live in certain areas and mm-hmm. things like this. So uh, we was able to live in a you know, good little environment for a little minute till my mom and my dad separated. And then, you know, when you kinda, was two? Yeah, around like one or two, yeah. Man, yeah. Man. Yeah. but your dad stayed in your life? Nah, not really. I, uh, not really, because I ain't see my daddy. I mean, they said the last time he was around, probably when I was like seven. But you don't remember that? I don't remember that. You know what I'm saying? Then I ain't hear from him until probably like probably like three, four years ago. Mm. About four, five years ago, he had passed away. Wow. And I like, what's so crazy? I ain't hear from my daddy for like 10, 15 years plus. I ain't seen or heard from him or nothing. Then the day I, I talked to him was the day people were saying like he finna pass away. He asked he to won- talk to you? How did it, yeah, how did that call come about? It was like um having the same last name on Facebook and um some family members reached out like, man, y'all um man, we know y'all who do y'all father, who do he be you know, he's sick, he about to pass away, mm-hmm. things like that. And um my sister was like, Can we at least talk to him? Can we, you know what I'm saying? That's your sister's father too? Yeah, yeah, I got, I okay. got three, three sisters, one brother. By the same father? Yeah, same father. Okay. Yeah, so um he was like, oh, they were like, man, your uh, father about to pass away. He said, we were like, man, let's talk to him. We call me. I, it was, it's a crazy conversation because after, after like all these years of not talking to your daddy, and like when you get on the phone with your daddy, he like, oh, hey, what's up, son? I'm like, hey, I just got some things to ask you. You know what I'm saying? And ooh, 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 ooh. Like, because I didn't know if that was like for real about him passing or not. I just really wanted to know. I asked him uh, two questions. I asked him, like, God, what you believe in? And um, this is gonna sound crazy. And I asked him, "Have he ever killed somebody before?" And um, like you know, what I'm saying, feel like mm-hmm. he he was still a good person afterwards, type shit. Mm-hmm. And he was just more like, "So I don't want to get into that." You know, what I'm saying, but I believe in Muslim, you know, things like that. And um, he was like, "Man, so I'm have to call you back." Uh, you know, I don't feel good. I'm like, dang. Wow. And that was the last time you spoke. That's the last time I spoke for him. He died probably like a week or two later after that. 
Mm. Oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Man, uh, I, I, well, at least you got you, to talk how, to him, though. At least you got to yeah. speak. With him. Yeah, yeah. But how did you feel after that? How how was your it, mental space? And did your other siblings get to talk to him as well? It was just kind of fucked up all the situation because I ain't heard him for him all these right. years. And, um, she getting in touch with your dad and finally getting in touch with him. Can't talk to him, you know. Ask him two questions and he got off the phone. I'm like, okay, I know it's serious now. Cause mm-hmm. like, I know he want to talk to his kids too. Yeah, yeah. But if he in the condition to where he, he can't, can't talk, then I know it's serious. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it just was a back and forth. You know, a lot of things kind of got messy. Cause like, you know, like, damn, why y'all ain't been telling us? But they ain't they come been contact us? Cause I ain't know who was it. You know, so okay. Just, yeah, it that's just, what I was wondering. And then, did your mom know where they were and could have you know really. done that she, connection? She, she she can guess. You know what I'm okay. saying? Uh, guess where you know his family and stuff from. Cause when you military, you move around a lot. Exactly. Very much but so. then, if they're they've been together a while, she would have known where his family was because that's she where the stationary knew, she, people were she's at new jersey city basically oh okay, yeah, okay. City. so did you get to meet the his side of the family eventually facebook wise facebook so, okay wise. but not face to face face to face now it, i've been in the carolinas and jerseys and they've been reaching out oh man you stop doing again. oh they know oh, you now oh, they know yeah oh, they, know <laughs> <you now. laughs> yeah. they know the sound Thanks. Thanks. I just I, I enjoy the fact that you got you you know you got to talk, got to, talk to, to your father. Thanks. You know um you know a lot of times man it's the toughest thing is for a man to they call us cavemen a lot of times mm-hmm. because we 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 ball up we hold, ball, things, we hold in. things in. A yeah. lot of times men we especially black men you know it's something about us opening up and father and son relationships are tougher than anything. Uh, you got any kids now? Yeah, I got a little boy. So there you go. You yeah, got to stay focused, man. <laughs> I got a fifteen year old, and I ain't gonna tell you all that other nigga <laughs> to call you. The nigga to call you old as hell, boy. Yeah, you know I mean? they gonna be like that nigga. How does he got a bike? He need to be in the old folks' home or something. The nurse home around his home. You know? But now I just you know when I when I think about you, man, and what you've accomplished in this time. That you you've uh, come across my screen, man. Uh, appreciate it, man. Appreciate you for reaching out to our people, man. Oh, damn, you know man. we are the uh, we are black uh, news. We are black uh, informational guides. Uh, uh, shout out, Mister Servon. He say we we are the ones who are creating a narrative for our people now. So for you to be doing that and being consistent at it, because people don't realize how tough it is to be consistent at something. I think that's to be applauded. I appreciate. So man, that. keep doing your thing, man. Uh, I can, oh, go ahead. I could keep going. You know that. I know that, but <laughs> before you get into that, because I know you're trying to get into that, but out of curiosity, why were those two questions the only two questions you asked? Because I done been through some stuff and then like, I oh, figured that's why. Yeah, um, I done been through some stuff and then just growing up, you know. Um, but hold on, stop before you say anything else. Okay. The first question you asked him. What do you believe in? And if you had... Kill somebody. Have you ever, ever killed somebody you, and just kind of? Do you know, feel like you'll be forgiven? Really, yeah, what you want to know? For killing somebody. How do you feel about that question personally for you? I feel like everybody can be forgiven for for doing something. You know, mm-hmm. and, um, depend. You know, just depends on how you're doing and what you're doing it for and things like that. Um, everybody can be forgiven. And, okay. um, everybody did make mistakes. Everybody made mistakes before and you no know, things like that. So I just, you know, just, and what do you believe in? I believe in the creator. You know, I don't believe in no um, Christian or Muslim, nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I believe in the creator. I believe in energy. I believe in my um, my intuition, like my inner, you know, and my gut don't feel good about it, I ain't doing it. You know, mm-hmm. um, my, my mind tell me to go make a left instead of right, I'm going to make the left. Got to listen know? to it. My first mind. Mm-hmm. You know, every time I have one with my second mind, I always been a mess up. You know, damn, I should have went to the house first. Damn, I should have dropped this out first. Damn, I should have. Okay. And don't regret anything you've ever been through in your life exactly. because everything is a learning lesson. It brought you to where you are today. Thanks. And you come in contact with so many people where even off camera, I know you be talking to a lot of people that you come in contact with. They can learn from what you've been through. You know what I mean? And if you didn't go through things in your younger youth, you wouldn't be able to advise some people that you come in contact with. Some of these young kids who are going down the wrong path. All you right, understand what I mean? Thank you so much, okay, Mr. Ahead. Maker. You go did ahead. your thing. You gave him a hell of a run right there. <laughs> go ahead. That was definitely- yeah, let's go. Let me hear that chant let's once. Go! There it is. <laughs> That's what I want to get into right there, nigga. That's it right there, man. Listen, man. I'm. I, I just want to. You. You live in Memphis now. 
Yeah, I live in you Memphis. Mem- What's part of Memphis? You know, I be down in Tunica. You know, I'm out there well, shooting the dice and everything in Mississippi. I want to know. I don't just... You all over the place. I, I stay in the outskirts of Memphis, but my building is in Memphis in White Haven area. Well, okay, White that's Haven hard, area. man. Yeah. How did you first get into this? Because uh, you've you been in it for a while. Yeah, yeah, I got into it, bro. Everything from the streets, you know. Everything from the streets. Yeah, growing up in the streets, um, learning from the streets, you know, the lessons from the streets, learning, you know. Man, um, the things I learned from the streets, I just learned how to turn it and use it into a business expectation now, you know, like as far as the hustle, the grind, things like that, you know, if you're going to stay out on the block all day and, and serve, you know, things, man, you can get on the internet and, and sell things now, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm going to treat the, I'm going to treat whatever I do just like the streets, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to break run, it down. Run it up, you're going to break it down. <laughs> you, you know, a lot of a lot of cats ain't even been in the streets to know how to treat it like the streets, you know. When you come from nothing, when you've been through the trenches, you understand how to maneuver in your world. Because a lot of people don't understand your world because they could never live in your world. I think a lot of times we give people too much credit. Real we be talent. trying to bring people to our level when they're not even there. Yeah, Am I right? Real talent. So you expect people to do what you would have done when they don't understand you from a man in the moon. Real talent. Am I right? Real we put a lot on people. We believe, oh yeah, he gonna come like you said. No, he not. That nigga's morals is not on your level. You're <laughs> so let's, let's uh, talk. Go ahead. No, but um, famous, t- well, famous or animal TV. When I Google Animal TV, mm. I'm seeing some other shows on Google, but when I YouTube it, you're the first one pop up. Yeah. But why that name? The streets. I know you <laughs> so say like, the streets, that, but... They were calling me Animal they, in the streets. Who called you Animal? Who was the first the person? Who was animal who, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, always, it's always that one person who first called you that name before everybody else yeah, started. Yeah, uh, one of the... Uh, one of the um, the older guys on the block. He and was, why did he call you animal? Because you was that much of an animal, really, when you were young. Yeah, I was bad. You was that bad. I was bad. Like I, I, I was in the, I was like, I was bad. Like I was, I ain't gonna say I was. How old were you when you when you got this name and you was that bad? I like 12, 11, 12. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ooh, I used to talk to your yeah. mama. Gang banging, um, you know. And you was an animal at twelve. At twelve, yeah, putting it like putting it down, like um, I had just seen, I had just learned a lot of things growing up early, and I seen how hard it was on my mother, so it was like, man, I, I gotta get out here and help, you know. And I hear a lot of people say that, and being a mom, it it, it worries me because I look at anybody who's sitting on that seat. I know I'm not that old, but I look at everybody as my kids. So at the same time, it's like. As a parent, you're going out here to help your mom, but you're putting her through worries, really, exactly. with all the stuff that you do. But you think you're helping, but yeah. how can you think that way as a child? It was, it was more like, when I was younger, I used to go breaking houses. You know what I'm saying? I used to breaking houses, but when I used to breaking houses, I, used, I wasn't doing it to be cool, to get some status in the game. I never, I, I did it when I came home. I made sure food was on the table. I made sure my little sister and them had new shoes and stuff. I was doing this at 11 and 12. Mm-hmm. I was thinking like this at 11 and 12. Like, man, I ain't finna do this and go smoke or go hang out. Nah, I finna go make sure my sister and them got some. Even if I, I dropped out of school, so it was more like, man, at least my sister and them finna go to school fresh. And, and you nobody, did drop out? Yeah, I dropped out. Yeah, I dropped out of school. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, um, I went and got my GED. No, later in life, because right. I just felt as though my niece just go get some, you know, and I feel like I knew I can do it, so I went and got it. But um, yeah, growing up, it just was hard on my mama. So every time I left the house to go do something, she cried because she knew you might I not was going come to back. do something that she didn't want me to do. Like and you might not come back, you know, it's that too, you know. That's the, the part. And a lot of stuff like I go, I, I got caught, police call, oh yeah, breaking the house. And my mama was. I ain't gonna say she was familiar or let me do that. It's like she really couldn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she can try to send me to foster home and all that, but the streets had got me that right You know what I'm saying? No, so I get it. My mom used to try to do something, but it wasn't the same as when your dad would speak to you or something. Or something so it's like a whole that. different level. Yeah. I was gonna ask you about uh, just the music when I asked you, you know, how did you end up even getting into music or into being into media? The streets. Okay, now let I, me ask you this. Uh, when you. When did you first pick up a camera or get behind a camera? March the uh, March the third, two thousand seventeen. Okay, that okay. And, I went and to the pawn shop. I had like four, five hundred dollars. I spent three hundred on the camera. I had like a hundred some dollars left. I ain't bills would do everything. You I put just it knew, all out there. I just knew like man, this was the star. And uh, when I bought that camera, 
my vision was just to go around and interview people in the streets of Memphis to get their side of the story, like what Memphis like. Mm -hmm. And when I did it, I went and interviewed the top niggas in the streets. Who, who was that? One of your first interviews? One, uh, one that meant the most to you, that stuck out the most? It was more like uh, the Big Motor. The Big, big Motor? motor uh, Rich Lord. Rich Lord. Yeah, see, their names was big in the streets. In the streets. You know what I'm saying? So when I went to interview them, the views, the first day, 100, 200,000 what, overnight. What, which one was your most viral, since you've been doing this all together, your most viral uh, video? The one that went the craziest. Talk freestyle or? Freestyle. Freestyles, oh, it's hard to say because I didn't did million plus on Facebook. I did million plus on. Um, Who was the one that sticks out? You got to give it up. Lil Saki. Lil Saki went hard. Lil Saki, he snapped. Why? He said, "Why? Why? Yeah, why? Why, why made you him think different? That one go right. The most. Right. You never know. I try I mean, to figure that out. Do you ever know why? Why his, was his went more viral than anybody his, else? His shit was wrong. <laughs> his shit hard. Now, now his shit did like a million or something on, on YouTube, but I got. Other people who she did it, 1.3 on Facebook, 1.2 on Facebook. But let me ask you a question. When it, for it to go hard, um, does it depend on the person who is rapping it or what you're saying? Or yeah, you're what you're saying. And then it, it depends on everything because, like, a person, can, you could be – you can be a motherfucker sitting up here, snag a tooth, ugly looking, but be saying some hard shit. And nigga be like, ah, oh, that nigga hard. But if folks be like, ah, oh, they'll judge him. So they probably be like, ah, oh, that nigga ugly as hell before they'll say it's hard. So it's like, yeah, the image, the image matter, the shit you saying matter, you know. And um, shit, rapping about certain shit and you ain't about it. Everything matter when it comes to like this rap shit. Because you know? people got to relate to it. Facts. You know That's the main so thing. So I'm going to relate to it, but then I know you in the streets and I know you a sucker, you a buster. As soon as I heard it, it can be hard. Oh, that nigga a sucker. He a buster mm -hmm. because, you know, so it's like, yeah, all that matter. Facts. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, so um, what do you, uh, what do you, what, how do you pick who you going to bring on your show, man? Um, right now, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I don't pick. They they call me. They uh call my booking line. You know, book book things like that. So so you got you don't have nobody that's out there that you be like I see I I found them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him yeah, on the show. Yeah, and that I go to is more like um and see that I go to. I try to go into the hoods and neighborhoods and see who really working. Who, who the, hard? Who, yeah, who hard? Yeah, who who around her working? Who hard? I ain't asking for no handout. Okay, cool. Listen, bro, I want to put him on the show. I ain't charge him nothing. Cause he hard. Want, Cause he hard. He working, and I can see it in him. You know what I'm saying? I know this could change somebody's life. So look, come here, little bro. I fuck with you. Let's do it. And and once you do that, it's up. It's up. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. And and and, and you, you you could tell because we got a show here, right? Yeah. And our show, you you see how we set up, right? You seen us when you come in the door, right? Thanks. You see what's going down over at Boss Talk One on One. Talk. Yeah, that, where the bosses talk. Come on, man. And when I've had people to come through, they see what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, try to sauce up. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I I enjoy it because I know already that this thing here can go either way. You know. Um. I see rap economics. They look a lot like you. This uh, rap this, this, this is, is out, of, out of Houston. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, y'all linked or is that some type of way y'all, how do you know them? Nah, I don't know them. But you don't know them at all? I don't know them at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't know them Never at all. Never heard of, had never followed them, they followed you, Red Child Teacher. Ain't nobody ever told you that it, Y'all got the same similar? Kind of? Nah, when they, uh, one day somebody had some of that shit like, bro, trying to copy you, you know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So when I went and looked at it, I'm like, damn, I okay. thought y'all was linked together or nah, maybe nah, knew each other. Nah, 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 I know links of connection. Nah, nah. I, I I just see how powerful influence is. And, yeah. um, and that one thing about me, the growth, me learning, bro, like, I mean, people gonna try to copy you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People gonna mm -hmm. try to do what you do because you inspiring, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. like, if you ain't inspiring and motivating people, like, what you doing? You know, and, and I say that because I, I seen that. I came up quick, yeah. you know. I ain't been doing this but right at two years. Yeah. And when I hit the scene, it wasn't nothing like this. Real talk. You see what's going on. <laughs> and, and, and they were like, look, that nigga hard on it. And I get it. But then I seen some others that came and they start, you know, doing their thing, uh, starting their video the videos off like mine, doing yeah. saying little things that I say. You know, I'm that check it man. Real you know, you, you let's go. Yeah. I, you, know, you can't <laughs> mimic certain things. You know what I'm saying? And but, what God has and for what you, God has for you is yours. And can't nobody, nobody take that away take from that you. Way. So you know, like I said, I I look like I said when I see the certain thing because they going hard. I think I seen Flip on there. I think I seen Boosie Daughter. Like I think did, that's the one. I, Boosie Daughter. That's the genre. And you did yeah. Boosie Daughter, right? Nah, no, you ain't done. 
her yet? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you, would you ever do them? Do yeah, her? I fuck with her. She okay. Harsh. Cause you in Memphis, you were the talent at though, Come man. On, it's man. some. <laughs> listen, man. It's some. Memphis kind of run the game a lot of times right now. People don't want to give them their credit, man. Thanks. So do you? Are you? Did you ever rock with Dolph? Or, or you know, you've been around a long time. Yeah. I, um. I never met Dolph person. I never met Dolph person. Did you rock with any of his music or anything? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm just asking <laughs> They're going to get the money. Yeah. <laughs> fuck with Dolph music. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. hard. And what about uh, 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 Key Glock? Man, Key you got Glock? a lot of people from yeah. down there, man. Pooh Shiesty was going in when he first, when he he before he got locked up. Yeah, Pooh Shiesty, big thing. You know, I fuck with a lot of them artists before the fame. Before the fame. Before, before the fame. Man, I'm talking about Block Boy, um, Glorilla, Gloss Up. Who you you rock with Big Gorilla Thunder? too? Yeah, come on, that before the fine. She come to my showcases, freestyle, like before the fine. Like, Do you still talk to her now? Or y'all don't even communicate. Uh, little inboxes, you know, little okay. inboxes here and there. We, we follow each other, things like that. That's but, hard. Yeah, yeah, but That's I understand she busy. I'm busy, so I ain't more like no buddy, buddy. She like, damn, what you doing? You this? You know, every day type <laughs> shit. But now, nah, like, it's love. That's love just to be to made those connections. A lot of people don't understand how important that is. Real Relationships talk. is very important. Very important. You know, uh, who would you say stands out when it come down to when when you need to get a refresher or talk to somebody like, man, I pick up the phone and I call such and such because I know they're going to give me something that's real to think about. I, I, I call one of my business partners. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, somebody I met along the road and um, we we linked ever since and it's somebody I, I'm able to talk to and, you know, he... He keep me uplifted. He, he tell me, you know, he just keep me motivated and keep me on a positive vibe, you know? Yeah, I had another song. I, I had my little intro song redone. I'm finna let you listen to it and see what you thought about it. Yeah. You seen that other one hard, yeah, that's hard. Nah, nah, that's you. Nah, nah everybody say that. I wish. That's I wish. Music, that's music, man. That's so music, oh, okay. but I wish it was. Man, yeah. but I, I, I got another one. I was like, man, I got to let my boy listen to it. He know music. Yeah. And I don't even see the... Uh, I don't go on my oh you sent me the deal look mm-hmm. on my my notes I sent you um I'm trying to get this song pulled up okay famous I'm, I'm trying to get out of here I see you looking at your clock and all that your clock ticking yeah yeah it's jump by oh I had some set up I got some freestyle you always got that. something going it's man booming. what make what make you jump around in Texas like this I can't say nothing cause I be in L A I be in you oh, I they, be everywhere they supporting me bro like so they, Texas is one of those places where it's just sticking up for you man they support me they believe in it um they respect it um. You know, they ask for no hand out. They come and correct. Shit, I, I fuck with them too. So that's, I'm here. You that's, know what that's, that's hard, man. Real that's talk. hard, man. So how many how many um, artists after being on your platform actually got a record deal? Uh, I, I, Do you I, know? I can name you over 20, 30 artists that got deals off my show. Really? Dang. Off for of freestyle. I can tell. Wow. I can name you. <laughs> I name, name, <laughs> name. Stop playing, man. <laughs> like okay, so it, every artist that come on my show now. Mm-hmm. Getting offers. If your shit hard. Your shit hard, you come across my show, somebody gonna reach out to you versus this man, uh, uh, independent record label in the hood or it's a major record label. That's big. They reaching out and signing these artists. How they make you feel to be a part of that I'm process? Ch- I'm changing people's life. That's you know, hard. I'm changing man. people's life. So every day I wake up, I'm changing somebody's life, especially when I come and I hear I'm like, ah, oh, y'all finna change your life. Watch when I post this and go crazy. And, like, well, you said it. Yeah, like, you know. So, <laughs> but then, but then with doing that, a lot of times, what is your next level? Because you're changing people's lives, and that when you're passing them along to somebody else, how can you, and do you want to do a record label for yourself eventually? Yeah, they got, uh, we got some negotiations on the table. You understand what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, you can only want to pass on people or, you know, blow people up in that form where you're not going to get nothing from it. Yeah, I After always, a while, you want to, you know, build something for yourself. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the artists I'm working with now, I'm able to get percentages and things like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm able to uh, That's work, hard. work negotiate, you know, negotiate. That's hard. Um, with the record label stuff, uh, labels trying to give me the start. Like, major labels trying to give me the start of label, you know, partnership right. with them. And, that would um, be dope. You know, I just say, man. But the numbers got to be right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the numbers got to be right because um, as an independent, you know, person and I'm able to be happy with what I got, mm-hmm. um, it's like, man, I wake up and go to sleep when I want to, you know what I'm saying? So it's more like just even having it, you know, ownership is more like, man, I'm happy with what I got. Y'all come yeah. with it or not, man, I'm, I'm good. But you, you have know? partners in your business, right? 
Oh. Or is it 100% yours? 100% mine. 100% everything. You I acting like me? Everything. You acting like me over I there, boy. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I take the bookings, answer the phone calls. Put you record. talking to on the camera. Sound say, let's go. Be the hype man. You know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know what You know what I'm saying? Like, had a conversation, everything, you know what I'm saying? So, like, from setting up the equipment to breaking it down, you know, to That's driving right. eight, ten hours, you know. Um. I tell people that all the time because so many people ask us, how how can we do what you're doing? Because so many people jumping up trying to do podcasts and stuff like that. So, the, first of all, stop trying to hire all these people to do something because you too lazy to learn how to do it. Yeah. It is a lot of work, I'm not going to lie, yeah. but you need to know how to do every aspect of this job for the main reason that somebody pissed you off and they leave you. They quit. You, your whole thing ain't just falling apart. You know exactly how to keep it going. And when, I, when I started my business, I was like, man, bang, okay, cool, I'm able to do this, do this. I'm able to run my whole business top to bottom. I've been running my whole business six years myself, mm -hmm. independently. Famous, no. famous. Famous Adam. Famous Adam. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Famous Adam, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. That's hard. Appreciate it. I don't I'm, I'm mean it's hard because we do it. Yeah. And we you do know it the work to come on. <laughs> you ain't playing no game. <laughs> and you do your editing Famous yourself and Adam everything. Famous Adam on TV. Editing, everything. Editing. Go hard. That's why you sitting in that seat. My son knew it. He must have knew something. Editing, trying to find the you, art out. Oh, you go hard, everything. bro. Famous Adam on TV. Let me ask you this, man. Like, like, where do you want to take it to? Do you want to make it something like Revolt or somebody? You know what I'm saying? Do you want to rock out, mm -hmm. make it the platform bigger or what? what of course, what I'm, of course I'm aiming to build. I ain't gonna say I'm aiming to be like them or nothing like that. But I'm, um, of course I'm going bigger with it. You know, TV shows, movies, um, cause people like my personality. So of course, man, I just got, I got a lot of things in, in motion and um. I don't like to talk about it. I like to do show it. people. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do because it's more like once you do that. Okay, I ain't no choice but to believe. Like, so. I, <laughs> I have another question. So, um, with you being from Memphis, what is your? Do you have any relations with CMG? CMG, I, I, I fuck with like. So it it's more like, I fuck with whoever I want to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with Moneybag Yo uh, camp. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Certain people in his camp. Kyle stayed and walking home eight years. You know what I'm saying? But um. I grew up in other parts of South Memphis too, so like I grew up around a part of uh, Black Youngster, you know, neighborhood. I, I know a lot of people who Black Youngster grew up with, who over him and things like that. Oh, uh, Dolph area, like my brother got to meet Dolph. My, my brother be, you know, it's over there in Dolph neighborhood, kind of, and stuff like that. So it's more like, you know, I got a relationship with both sides. So you never feel like there was any pressure that you have to, Pick if you side. talk, yeah. It was it was more of a pressure because like people thought I was picking a side or trying to claim oh bro on this side or he claiming this side nah nigga, I'm famous out on TV that's why I went about my own time I didn't mm -hmm. want because like it's more like if somebody come give you a CMG shot yeah bro you you the gang then okay now I'm CMG if I get a pay route I'm paper route mm -hmm. so it's more like if you get a time you got to pick a time you know what I'm saying right Me, I'm building my con company up like nobody gave me a dollar you know but you know saying? how it is especially when you're in this game if you have too many of People on one side on your show, then they feel like they're with. They assume. They assume. I didn't. I didn't put it down and stamped it to where I ain't no assume. Y'all know how I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm in the middle of the, I'm in the middle of the trenches when I build every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, man, if somebody gonna be pulling up doing anything gonna be because of some ID. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't doing nothing but showing love, so I'm good. You know what I'm saying? What That's do what you I like? What do you see that? Um, cause. We all look at other platforms and we see how the podcasting and it's been the new radio shows. This is what yeah. the new media is. Do you think that there's anything lacking from um, podcasting today? Lacking, lacking. Um, far as far as like some people say, well, a lot of these shows are too negative. They're not. They don't have enough positivity. Some people say just all different sort of stuff. Yeah. Do you think that there is something that um, they could do to make to do better? Um, I'm gonna say, keep going. That's the only way you can get better if you keep going. Um, I agree with that. You know, it, it, a lot of people say, uh, practice make perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, practice don't make perfect because every time you practice on doing it, you're going to get it better and better. So if you did it good this time, how can you call it perfect when mm -hmm. if you do it the next time, you got it better? So, um, you know, keep going. What keep you, going. What do you think when you seen Big Scar had 
had passed. I, 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 being it young, was sad. It was sad. Because Memphis doing man, like we on the mound, we putting it down. You know what I'm saying? And he young, so like coming to guy young, doing he turned he he bringing more money into the city. He able to uh, support you know his family, his friends, his side of the town. So it was like. He, he, he changing people's lives, too. You know what I'm saying? He taking care of people. He, he feeding his family. So for him to pass, I thought about his family. Dang, look at all the people that was kind of eating off that, you know what I'm saying, that situation. So like, dang, certain people got to probably wake up tomorrow and figure out how they're going to pay his rent because bro paid. What about mm -hmm. what about the, the, the fitting, fitting all, uh, you know, speculations of different artists that are passing from Gangsta Boo and all these different Fake people? perks and all yeah. that. Yeah, what do you think about that? I mean, I, don't, I can't think nothing of it because it's, it's the streets, you know. Like, I grew up around, you know, I could, I don't condone with nothing. I might smoke me, you know, a little bit, but I don't condone with nothing else other than it, you know what I'm saying? Because I done seen what it did, I done mm -hmm. seen the damages it done caused, you know what I'm saying? I don't know nobody who just woke up and said, oh, they died on weed. You know? but, even, <laughs> but even nowadays, they still mixing stuff in weed, too. Yeah, so you, so you got to be careful of yeah, who and me, what you're buying. I, I've, been, I've been smoking weed since I was 12, 11, so mm -hmm. it's more like, since I, animal got created. Yeah, I done studied the weed. So, like, like people don't know, like, you smoking and your ash is black and turning different colors. Man, it's bad weed. You know what I'm saying? It's dirty. You know what I'm saying? You got to know when you smoking clean weed. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Yeah. But at that point, you don't already smoke it to find that out. So, that's what so I'm saying. You, you got to know You got to know what the weed coming like. Okay, this. Okay, it's, it's Can you know by smell? You, if it's bad or not? Uh, man, you can kind of look at it and see, you know, yeah, it be, it be trash, lint, all type of, you know what I'm saying, stuff. And then you got to know who you getting it Well, you know. Mm -hmm. I advise go to the dispensary or something like that because, you know, anything happened, they, they need to look. Let me ask you this. Uh, um, do you, when you think about the freestyles, you know what I'm saying, do you, you see the, I, I talked to, What's that boy name? The one from out of uh, Philadelphia. The one that, you know, I'm a big fan of his too and can't even think of his name. The, the, the little nigga that was going against uh, Meek Mills. What was his name? Six Meek in Meek. the morning. That nigga there, what's his name? You, you're a younger nigga too, so you you supposed to know this. Like, you supposed to know this. <laughs> Man, and that's sad. I can't remember how to think of it. Dang. But at any rate, just freestyling the way they battle rap versus the way you doing now. Uh, what, what you like the way you doing it? Uh, do you like that battle rap style? I used to I used to watch battle rap. That's like what I'm asking. Uh, Cause I'm why you don't know the is it, it's not. Dang, dang boy, you show got me thinking. I used about. to watch a little battle rap. Um, Them boys used to battle rap know. hard too. Uh, they they go back and forth, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and I, Arsenal. I, Arsenal and it, you getting close. What's that little, little short with name? The one I always Hitman get. Holler. Hitman go hard too. Hitman it's a bunch Holler. of, but I'm just yeah. saying versus the way you doing dropping these bars and these freestyles. These adequate freestyles. She gets upset with some of these people that come in here that got pre staged rhymes, and she be like, "Man, that ain't no freestyle. Could you do it from the dome?" <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people be saying like, "Man, that ain't no freestyle. This and that." But I understand music now, and um, I, I understand creation. You know what I'm saying? It didn't come out of Freestyle, they be like, man, off the top of the dome. That's it, what I think it is. Okay. It's supposed to be. So, anything you do off the top of your dome is freestyle. Even when you building a table, you know what I'm saying? The mindset of the, the, the path you're going, it's being freestyle because it, it's, it's your thought, you know? Mm -hmm. So, if you think of something, you write it down, it's just you you pre, you pre know pre-wrote down. You the, prepared. You prepared it, you know what I'm saying? So, it's more like, you know, um, if it's something you written, if you say it, Versus hearing the song, I think is he freestyled out the lyrics that he had already. Do you think a person stored. is more talented if they freestyle something straight off the dome and you know it's straight off the dome because the things that they're talking about is like right around you compared to somebody who prepared it like the morning before and then came and freestyled it? Oh, uh, I'm going to say this. I know people who can freestyle out the top of their dome and, and hit pinpoint stuff, but it seemed like the artists who kind of go structured make it farther. What about the, yeah, mm -hmm. Cassidy, who was I was thinking about? Yeah, see, like, Cassidy. you know, uh, Cassidy used to. That's the one. Still hard. That's the one I was talking about. You gonna listen to him now, he's hard, but it's like, okay, you got somebody come out like, I ain't saying NBA Youngboy write this shit or nothing, but I'm saying you got like NBA Youngboy. You're talking about the structure. structure. Mm -hmm. It's more structured, so it's like, look, you know, look where it's at now. Man, I had said I was gonna play this. I'm gonna get you out of here. I see you okay, looking. You, yeah. I gotta go. <laughs> Did I have them? Yeah. See? You gotta tell me what I had. Let's go. The new one. Let's go. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Yes. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. We doing numbers. Y'all looking PB. Y'all looking hungry. We looking greedy. Remember back then we were poke. Now it's a unique hustle. Come shop at the store. We don't never sleep. We on go. Go. 10 or 11 interviews all in a row. They come see E cause they know he be live. If you wanna see it, then go and subscribe. If you wanna see it, then boy, here it go. go. Pull up on Elam and walk through the door. Yeah. You better be ready. Who that is? You're not the same person. Get on that mic, better act like you know. You get on that mic, then you must be the best. Okay. A king, a queen, a legend, a vet. It feel like the Grammys when I'm on the set. Cause I ain't seen nobody regular yet. I'm repping it, repping it, in it indefinite. Next to the boss, just call me Stephanie. Just call me queen, just call me ex. Just call me, don't try to. Send me a text. Nope. He call me, I answer. He know I'm a step. Yeah. Rocking this sweater, he know I'm a rep. I rock with E cause he know how I felt. Uh-huh. To come up from nothing and get it yourself. Yeah. Now he connected. Now, yeah. now he yeah. got haters that wanna Let's be mad. They wanna stop him, they know he a Which win. one you like better, the first one? Oh, oh yeah. Hey, you didn't hear that. I stopped it. The, the first one was hard too. Both of them she ran the beat. Both of them she ran the beat. That's my girl, man. XO in the building, man. I'll be showing her that love over there. XO Music. XO Music. Let's go. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We be on fire. This we one everybody this. love. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. We gon' bring it to the table. Boss Talk. Who your girl friend? Man, you ever hear the boss? Let me hear the rest. Yeah, I don't know. We ain't going with this. I gotta ask one more question. Unique hustle, man. Shout out to X. I always show that love, man. But hey, man, thank you for coming. On the show, man. Oh, I don't think I, I left anything out. How was it when Dolph passed away? The the, the temperature. How was the city? I I, I know it, it had to be raining rough. or some shit. It was raining. Yeah, it started for a little bit. It had started raining, right? Cause we was posted out there. Oh, uh, on the scene for a minute. I uh, went to the. I went to the. Uh, the scene, the crime scene, the joke, you know, just seeing everything. Oh, so you on. did go over by Makita's and all that and yeah, just, it's, just it's, looking? It's one exit up from my oh, building. Oh, it's right by you. Oh, okay. one light up from my building. So you wow. like, damn, this crazy, it's man. Like, damn, bro, like, bro, they say dope out there today. I'm like, what? Hopped in the car, drove, one, one, like. You could have ran. <laughs> you could have ran up there. Yeah, yeah I could have ran, ran up there, but it going to take me a minute. But, like, it was probably literally, like. Four minutes away from mm. my building, so I uh, hop, bam. You got over there, man. Dang, y'all are tight. Was, was it quiet for the next few days? Kind of like, damn, man. Could was it like? Damn. It was a bunch of rumors going around. I I don't nobody mean, knew who did it. Nah, well, I don't know. I don't know that. I didn't know who did. Right, it. Right, <laughs> right. I still don't know, but <laughs> the, you know that was it. Was rumors going around? Yeah, this street. say he say she say this. Some person went and shot up these four. How this? It was crazy it for was a few days. Crazy. Yeah, for the last couple, it was it was rumors going around type. But it was stuff happening too. But it was rumors being mixed in it too. Was was leading to other stuff to happen. And you were like, damn, the city on crazy fire right it now. Come last, oh, that just went up and shot up some sort of how. And these folks over here. Preparing to go slide back the whole time mm-hmm. and it happened. Yeah, you know I mean? Man, <laughs> did you ever you ever hang out on Bill Street down there, man? I used to come down there and hang out on Bill Street. Eating and all that. I, I've been on Bill Street. Locals don't Is do it like that, that anymore though? Is I, do anybody ever go down there and eat or anything? It be, it be jumping they still days, go? Some days it'll pop off. Like, you know, like we get the word around, everybody on Bill, everybody on Bill. And then people will ride out. The whole city down I, that's who it. should we look for that's new and upcoming out of Memphis right now? Who's the hottest cause you have your no, street? Know. Who's the hottest person coming up? Out of Memphis? Yes. It's a list of... <laughs> that that many? It's a list. It's a list. It's a list of... Who is the uh, top for you right now that you know that they finna go? Out of Memphis? Mm-hmm. Out of Memphis, Memphis, Memphis. Probably Savage Kid, Savage Kid. My ass, a lot of artists, guys. <laughs> who would you like to? Who is the one you would like to get in front of you though? Not they don't have to be new. Just uh, who would you like to see just freestyle? Because you don't, or, or just do the type of freestyle that you display that you know, man. That'll be epic to have him on my show. Thug. Don't have to be oh, Thug. Yeah, yeah, Young yeah. Thug. Come on, man. Why I sell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll come. I just feel like he he'll give me the energy, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, probably nobody else will give me. I don't you know. You're right, because he spans out. Man, I just... He go a different way every no, time. Like, every nobody time. can tell which way this nigga going to go. I show... You think he going to get out of there? I hope he do. I hope he do, too. Yeah, I hope he do. I hope, I hope he do, and I hope the papers ain't... Niggas ain't signed too many papers. You yeah. know, niggas signing papers, yeah. man. Yeah. Say, man, thank you for coming to show, man. Oh, what, last question. I got to ask you this. Uh, do you... This is the last question, man. 
How important is God in your life? Number one source. Like, ain't no other source bigger. Like, that's the creation. That's the, that's the creator. Everything. If you think about how, I just, I don't know. I, I'm going to be, I, I pay attention to things. If you think how, like, the eyeball work or how the, the, the body work or the thing, the fingers being, like, I, I just look at things like that. Like, man, we actually got two hands. Like, they can pick up and do stuff. Like, like it got to be a high power. Gotta like, be. come on, man. Then it's all these people can breathe and talk. Oh, man. It's crazy. Yeah, yo, it's let's, just, go, uh, let's, yo, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Thank you so much, man, yeah, for coming on the show, man. We love you, bro. Most definitely. Listen, man, y'all need to check this guy out if y'all hadn't already been, man. Real Famous time. Animal TV is in the building on Boss Talk 101. One of the hardest niggas out here putting it down. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we go. Out. 